In this Java class demo, I'm going to create two variables. Int x is 5 and int y is 0. Now let's try to print out x divided by y. x divided by y and afterwards let's also print out the end and if I run this program notice that we got a runtime exception it says exception in thread main java.lang.arithmetic exception divide by zero and it tells you that it happened on line nine right here so that is a runtime exception our program was running and then it crashed before it, it even ended the program. And I know that it didn't end the program because it never printed out the end at the end of your program. Let's try one more example where we create a runtime exception. So I'm going to erase all this code, delete, and now let's try it with arrays. So let's create an integer array, int empty square brackets, let's call it array, and let's create an initialization list. 2, 5, 7, 12, 50, and 23. And now I'm going to create a loop to loop through this array and print out all the elements. And i is 0, i is less than the array.length, and i++. Plus plus. And for each array element, let's print out that value array at index i. So if I run this program, no problem. It prints out all the array elements. But what happens if you made a slight off by one error, where instead of looping from 0 to 1 less than the size of the array.length, what if this was a less than or equal to sign? And you'll see that it'll run through the entire array out all the elements and then crash at the end saying array index out of bounds exception. It tried to print out array at index 6 which doesn't exist because the array has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 elements so the last index is 5 because we start counting at 0. And you can see that once your program crashes then no other lines of code get executed. It doesn't print out the end at the end of your program. So stay tuned for the next video where we learn how to handle exceptions in our program so that our program doesn't crash and keeps working. Thanks for watching.